This video was created by Vinylic Pika, a Vinylic Pika lover. Hello everyone, this is Pika Lover here, back with another Borderlands 2 video. And today, I'm going to be talking about the best weapons made by my least favorite manufacturer, Doll. Yes, I'm not, I hate Doll. One thing that's bad about Doll is its first fire. However, however, it doesn't have that problem in Borderlands 3 and Borderlands 1 that I've noticed. However, there are a couple of phenomenal doll weapons. And these are definitely a couple you should keep an eye out for. Other than that, these will be the 9 best weapons made by doll starting now. Number 9. The Scorpio. The Scorpio is, well, it's not the best gun, but it's pretty cool and pretty good. One thing that's really nice about the Scorpio is that when you fire it, there's some, there's a chance to like fire a little bit fast, like, that's basically how it fires. In case you were wondering what that was, that was me tapping to show you the to show you how the Scorpio fires, and it's that's kind of pretty good. And the Scorpio can can crit as well. If you like the Scorpio, it can be obtained from after completing the quest, Bearer of Bad News. Number 8. The Seraphim. The Seraphim is pretty cool. However, if you're unfamiliar with the Seraphim, it's basically the Doll Carbine. So, the Seraphim have basically comes in fire, which makes it pretty good. And... The Seraphim has really awesome critical hit damage. And that's kind of what makes it good. And, and it's very, very accurate. However, the downside that the Seraphim has is that it does have some slow moving projectiles. And it doesn't have an extra burst fire count. Other than that, I really like the Seraphim. And if you want the Seraphim, it could you it could be obtained from Master Yi, or you could get it from one of the Seraph vendors. Number seven, the Varuk. The Varuk now is is also based off the Dog Carbine. Now, the the Varuk is pretty cool. And pretty good. Not only that, I'm not just going to explain that. I'm not just going to say that, but there's more that's basically good about the Varuk. The reason why it's good. So, the reason why the Varuk is good is because the Varuk has unlisted projectiles. Yes, it does say three. Well, it doesn't have unlisted projectiles, but it can when you when you zoom in, and it could do like really good. If you zoom in, the bullets will come together until it reaches the center, and that can be pretty good. And that's why it's good. Anyway, to get the Varuk, you will have to kill Mobley. After completing the good and the bad and the Mordecai, or you can also get it from the handsome sorcerer's daughter. Number six, the Hornet. The Hornet is really, really good, and is basically one of the easiest legendaries to get. One thing that's really good about the Hornet is that. The Hornet, so the Hornet has, 
and has a really extra burst fire. Has an extra burst fire count. Which kind of makes it good. And it, it basically gives it that pretty great fire rate. And it has good corrosion chance. And it does really nice damage. And if you and if you want the Hornet, it can be obtained from Knuckle Dragger, or you can get it from Hyperius. Number five, the Hector's Paradise. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Hector's Paradise, the Hector's Paradise is basically the Hornet, but the shock version. However. It, bas it basically has the same effect as the Hornet, which is kind of good. However, it does have a fixed blade accessory. However, it's really, really good. And I don't really have much to say about it, but the Hector's Paradise is pretty good. However, if you want the Hector's Paradise, it can be obtained in the Pfeiffer Sanctuary DLC after completing the quest called Echoes of the Past. Number 4 The Sandhawk. The Sandhawk, well, it's not really a good weapon by itself, but it does have something that makes the, it pretty good. If you have a B shield, Equip that on when you're using the Sandhawk, because that's why it's really good. The Sand... So, with the combination of the Sandhawk and the Beast Shield, it will blow... Well, it will demolish an enemy. It will, like, bring the pain. Like, it will do, like, phenomenal amounts of damage. And... That's basically because of it unlisted projectiles and better you can use it on Hyperius Pyrapeat or even Terramorphous alright so anyway if, to get the Sandhawk you will have to complete the quest whoops number three the last scow the last scow this one is pretty good, and what this thing is so good, and it's really easy to get. So, if you're unfamiliar with the last gal, what the last gal does is, when you fire it, it'll have be it'll have better accuracy. It'll have extra projectiles coming out, and. And it has really nice fire rate. And there's lots of bullets coming out. However, the, however, the bullets may, may go a little bit separate. But not too separate. However, it's really good. And if you want the last scout and if you want to try it. You can obtain it from from walking to the pond and grabbing it. It's in Frostburg Canyon. No DLC required. Number two, the pitchfork. The pitchfork is really, really awesome. One thing I really like about the pitchfork is that, just like a pitchfork. The pitchfork has unlisted projectiles. It fires five bullets in a horizontal pattern. And and basically a pitchfork has has like four to five points. Which is why the pitchfork has those unlisted projectiles. And they can do really good. However, however, the bummer with the pitchfork is, is the way to get it. 
as it is pretty rare. So, to get the Pitchfork, you will have to kill Terramorphus. You can also get it from Master Gi the Invincible. Or Master Gi. Number one! The Toothpick! Yes, the Toothpick is really, really awesome. I really like the Toothpick. Man, it's just like... Man, the Toothpick is like a little hybrid. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think that they may have come... That Gearbox may have combined the Toothpick with the double pistol accessory. The health... The health fire... And, and the Pitchfork special effect. However, if it isn't, if I'm wrong, then whatever. The Pitchfork, the Toothpick, sorry, the Toothpick is really awesome. And it can do really good damage in combat. And when you zoom in and burst fire, there will be lots more. However, the downside that the toothpick has is that it, it may chew up through your ammo but other than that the, the toothpick is really good and if you want the toothpick it can be obtained from the sandworms in the burrows or if you come across a sandworm queen kill a sandworm queen as according to Ludamon has a higher percent chance to drop from the sandworm queens than the original sandworm queens all right guys that's going to wrap up this particular video if you did you guys like this video if you guys did please be sure to give it a like and as always my name is pico lover and i will see y'all later